Hello everyone, I'm Rina Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a user account in your Active Directory for your domain. Okay, to do that, I have logged into my domain controller. If I go, if you click on Server Manager, click on Tools, and click on Active Directory Users and Computers. In Active Directory Users and Computers, by default, all the user accounts are saved under user, Users OU. If you click over there, you'll find all the groups, including Administrative User Account, been saved under Users OU. But for this demonstration, I would like to create a user account under London OU. I've got under London OU, I've got another OU saying London Users. So if I click on that, I would like to create a user account over here. Okay, there's two ways of doing it. As you see over here on top, there's a user icon. Okay, you can click on that and you can click create a user account. The other way that you can do it is by right clicking and click on new users. Sorry, user. And then it's going to ask you for some basic information about the user. Okay, so I'll just say Steve. I've just named my user as Steve Disa. Okay, you assign a logon name for the user. Click next. It's then going to ask you for the password. So enter the password. Okay, over here there are a few options. The first one is user must change the password at the next logon. Okay, so if you want the user to change the password at the next logon, just click that. User cannot change the password. If you don't want the user to change the password, click that. Password never expires. If you don't want that password to expire, you click on that. If you want the account to be disabled for a few days and then activated, you can obviously click on that. Okay, I'll just say user must uh, change the password at next logon. And I'll click next. And that's going to give you a quick summary about the user account. And then, if you, all if you if you just click on finish, the user account has been created. Okay. The other way that you can do that is by going back to your server manager. Click on tools, and click on Active Directory Administrative uh, Center. In Active Directory Administrative Center. If you click on your domain local, okay, if you you see over here all your OUs are here, okay. It's basic copy of your Active Directory, and if you click on the OU that you want the user to cre to be created, I'll again go to London London users, and I'll create another user over here, okay. Again, right click to create a user, new user, new, and user, okay. The other way that you can do that is in the task panel over here. You can create, click on new and then click on user. Okay, it's then going to open another dialog box. Um, there you go. Okay, over here, as you see, it's asking you for more information. It is allowing you to enter more information about the user. So if you see, you can enter the first name, middle name, last name which wasn't uh, possible in Active Directory users and computers. Okay, You can assign logon hours. All of this function is possible in Active Directory, but after you create the user account. Okay, uh, So you can enter all the information over here again. So let me just quickly create a user account. Sam. This, uh, Okay, I'll just sign a password. And you can assign uh, the logon hours to the user. You can assign login computers wherein the user can log on. Okay, all of this can be done in one location. As you see over here, you can enter the job title, the department, the company name. Sorry, I'll just click. 
so you can click uh, you can enter all that information over here okay as you see over here the main phone number the home phone number the mobile number fax and everything okay so if you scroll down it's even asking you giving you option to add the user account to different groups okay so if you want a user account to be added to different groups you can just click the add if you want the user to be into any group just type in the name I would say and search administrators group I'm you don't have to do it I'm just uh, showing up because I haven't created any groups at the moment so I just pick that so you can assign groups um, password settings you can assign different password settings policies and stuff like that uh, if you have a roaming profile obviously you can assign profile parts and all of that which wasn't possible in Active Directory all of this can be created using Active Directory administrative center okay and you see over here the uh, SAM user account has been created but if you go to your Active Directory users and computers you'll see those functions are available but once you create the user account you have to right click on the user account and then go to properties and then you'll get all the other information that you can enter so instead of going doing it twice you can just go to go to your ad active directory administrative center and enter the information okay so i hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching